Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. Let's get started right and now. And we mean Phoenix Wright, because... We're back to Phoenix see. Wright. We're on Bridge to the Turnabout, Part 3-1 Investigation. Last Investigation period. The it... Investigation! <laughs> Marty just really loves these, holy cow. Yeah, I like the Investigation. But it's the last period. Investigation of the game. Oh, what a shame. Let's oh. begin. Well, February 9th, 3.43 a.m. Hottie Clinic Intensive no! Care Unit. No! <laughs> I do not want to talk to him! I'm still up at this hour, reading for oh! the trial record of a certain case. That explains a lot, because I was like, man, the chair in his office is really weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. It's the first case my mentor Mia had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. <sighs> Dahlia Hawthorne. What I have read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This wasn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into the Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. Maybe by her. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. Poor dude. But I will recover! I have to recover by this afternoon. Oh no. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me. Somehow. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna end well. No, we don't talk to Director Hottie. Don't worry. Good. See, <laughs> see for me, I'm just imagining, like, we're gonna come and it's like, for the trial period, it's gonna be like, alright, how are you feeling, Phoenix? Right? Well, I feel... Achoo! 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 <laughs> like, over and over again. February 9th, 2.43pm, Dusky Bridge. Right? Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian in artist speak. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my fever's gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. That's- No! Go back! <laughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shitoshito did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about anything, pal! I'll dig up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat! Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. Heh. <laughs> that is probably for the best. Oh, that's like the first time you see that. This game. Yeah. We saw it in Rise from the Ashes a few times. Uh -huh. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... Our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have the feeling that we've met before. You have? <laughs> Phoenix, just say that! <laughs> All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. Ugh, everything is so dumb because people aren't communicating. <laughs> Welcome so... to fiction. No, it's so bad! And real life. Yeah, why can't people just communicate well? Well, there and... he's laughing. And since I probably won't be getting that from you, I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Cool. See ya, Edgeworth. Guess I should be getting moving, too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've gotta get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get across to the other oh side. Oh my gosh, yes! Ah, that's right! Maya's still stuck over there at the Inner Temple! But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. <laughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out, I promise. Oh my gosh. She's going to be dead. We're gonna walk in and her be like, I'm so crazy. <laughs> but in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Oh, I wanted the really good, like the... Eeny miny music like the da 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 da. That's, da, that's da, only in the second game. Da, da, da. Oh, I wish though. Uh, Heavenly Hall or main gate? 
Let's hit up Heavenly Hall. So that's where most of the things seem to be happening. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Looks like no one's here. That's surprising. Larry! Maybe he's sleeping. Maurice! I was sure he'd be hiding here. Guess I'll try again later. Just We haven't examined it. stuff here as Phoenix, though. Mm -hmm. That stuff is really ruining this beautiful atmosphere around here. It's so inappropriate. Like Sister Bikini in a bikini. <laughs> I gotta think of the kittens. <laughs> Does she have cats? I wish. <laughs> the snow is really piled up on the straw roof. It's otherworldly, like something out of a fairy tale. Well, the roof part, anyway. The sign says Heavenly Hall. I guess it's pretty fitting. If you spend a night in this fr little freezing shack, you'd probably find yourself at the pearly gates by morning. <laughs> wow! Okay then, Phoenix. <laughs> Look at this graffiti, scrawled right on the front of the shack. At least he managed to get a pretty good likeness. When I really think about it, I guess art kind of suits him. I mean, his very existence is an art of sorts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Examine that water. I just realized it, th th he's got- there's a platform that you could just, like, jump in. Yeah. This is the famous Eagle River. I got to try out its rough rapids the other night. They say it has a really strong current. And they weren't kidding. It's both powerful and fast-flowing. I was dead lucky. I mean, lucky not to be dead. Yeah. That's Dusky Bridge up there. It's amazing how clearly you can see it from so far away. Larry supposedly saw everything through the shack's window. Not much light gets down here, so it must be pitch black at night. But this area was probably illuminated that night because of the burning bridge above. That would make sense. It's also really cold, so you can't be sleeping. <laughs> well, that was really short. No one was there. Let's see what's up here. February 9th, Hazakura Temple Main Gate. Come on, please! It's for art's sake! I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroine here! The heroine in my book! It'll make you famous! There! Enough! Fools, 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 fools who ex uh, foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Wright? Eh? Wait a second. Uh, I know you. You're, um. Now! Your reflexes and mine need to be shaped up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want me to grill me over her name? Francie, you can't do that! Even as we speak, Neek's on the Nick's on the brink of death! Neek's on the brink of death! <laughs> or, or so I'm told. It works. It's way yeah. <sighs> Whip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick! Tell her, would you? She must model for my picture book, Francie's Whiplash Splash, Simple and Magnificent! <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. <laughs> wow, this poor dude! <laughs> what do you think? I mean, this picture a... book is weird! <laughs> it is, that's and like he a... is a colossal idiot. That's like a picture book that, like, would be in an adult comic book section, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says! I'm telling the truth! I saw what I saw! She flew, I'm telling you! Whoosh! Just like that dude with the red underwear! Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize! <sighs> Off he goes. Phoenix Wright, it's been a year since we last met. A pleasure to see you again. That's surprisingly nice of you. I mean, we almost died, so... <laughs> yeah. Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record naturally. Oh joy, sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I'm Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisco was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor. Wow, she has amazing English. Wow. That's right. Good job, me. <laughs> okay. Her father was the legendary prosecutor, Ugh. Manfred Bonkama. I forgot how weird he looks. <laughs> that he looks like a Koopa from the front. What? <laughs> <laughs> he had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he's gone from this world. What? Did he die? He was executed. Yeah. We executed him? We didn't, but the justice <laughs> system did. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> because um, he was proven guilty 
on the end of the statute of limitations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. Oh, that's kind of nice to know. Mm -hmm. At least she's not like, You killed my father, prepare, prepare to, to die! die. Yeah. <laughs> In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy-weensy pieces all the better! It's probably the fever, but... She's so openly hostile that it's almost kinda cute. NOW! No smirking! No whipping the sick! That foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. Edgeworth. Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you! It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. I went over the whole case file on this flight over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I'm jet lagged. And I photoshopped the image. And I'm still here. Oh, wait, no, she didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, she kind of did. You read the whole thing? Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you made it, uh, did made it very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge. Did you even consider the dangers? No. The only thing thought in my mind was I have to get across. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Gumshoe said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's gotta be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the Inner Temple that night. Here's the thing that's interesting about Francisca. I don't know if she has any, like, friends or people that she cares about, because there's many times where she's like, why would you do this stupid thing? Like, mm -hmm. really? My father electric like, tased you, and you didn't, like, <laughs> and you're not calling him out, and you're like, well, it's, you know, it's like, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. Friends take care of each other, but she's kind of got this, like, I don't have any friends, I don't need yeah. anyone, I am the almighty, powerful... I mean... <sighs> I really don't like how she whips people, and I don't like her abrasive personality particularly, but she's definitely a sympathetic figure. I really- yeah. Her story's so interesting to me. I'm about this now! I refuse to help you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I should have known better than to try. What about another? Tell me about yourself, come on. Don't- nope, nothing. <laughs> what about Edgeworth? 26, said to be number one in the defense attorney's office. <laughs> <laughs> At the defense attorney's office. Not in. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Studies foreign judicial it's systems. It's like, I'm not even in the defense attorney's office. And I'm still the best. <laughs> I'm the best. See you. Oh! People in here. February 9th. Please, Pearl. Temple, Please, Pearl. Main Please, Hall. Pearl. I'm assuming nope, that's her. it's not. <laughs> that was one long sigh. Okay. Um, Sister this Bikini? This wishful thinking. My, 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 I didn't know you were here. How are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mystic Elise die, and then there's Iris as well. Did what Iris did die as well? well? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mystic Elise? Now that I think about it, hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner table, at the inner temple, not the inner table, and that poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl? Y you don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls? She's missing? Why didn't someone tell me about this earlier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar! I would never lie! I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mysticalise's body that night. I'm certain of it! At least, 
I was until this morning. I don't see any psych locks, so she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying! Her white hood fluttering! I felt like I might start flying myself! When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if he had- if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble. Boom! <laughs> and nothing else. If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. I'm guessing Larry didn't see what he <laughs> thought he saw. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple, is that correct? That's right, I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claims she was in her room in Hasakura Temple. Maybe she got around the psych lock and she's like, Oh, <laughs> like I said, I've been, she has the I've blue been, mangatama. <laughs> I've been here for five years and like she's learned how to control. <laughs> no, it's like when Aang in Avatar is like with the weird like chakras, chakras, dude. And then he like learns how to control his avatar state. <laughs> Except he fails. But, uh... <laughs> he doesn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to learn, and it doesn't work. But it could be something like that, where she's like, Oh, I have inner body balance, and now, and now I can avoid the Magatama. And you're like, okay. I knew I should have come back here last night. Uh, but two nights ago. Night. But because you did, Maya's stuck at the inner temple. Ugh, I'm so sorry. The drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet. The training hall looks like it was about to fall down at any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Earthquakes? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. The area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? You went there! Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there, and it's surrounded on all sides by the river and, or the forest. I see. So a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and no way to escape either! Oh dear! Yes, I suppose it does. Uh, please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. Well, how about Elise? I'm curious about a few fiends, if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh, do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, no, no. I want to know a little more about the victim, Miss Elise Donum. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size, or her bust size for that matter. <laughs> no, no! I'm, I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, 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 you make it sound like this place is some sort of dumb, Mr. Wright. Mystic Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. You did it again. Sister Bikini, I noticed you always refer to M M Miss Donum as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. When we address all our visitors as Mystic, it makes their experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. She's older how, than you? How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Yeah. They know each other pretty well. With five Cyclops! <laughs> huh. It seems Miss Elise Donum was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's Pearls. She was with Miss Donum on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all gotta be connected somehow. Maybe Elise Donum is the Fey Mother! <laughs> <laughs> the, that sounds like the worst like mafia movie ever. The Fey Mother! mother. <laughs> <laughs> She'll come and get you in the night. <laughs> Why did Pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together! Oh, man. My head's frothing so bad, it's killing me. You should sit down. Pearls, she was with Miss Donum on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but... I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing with the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we'd finished eating dinner. All that pot roast! The murder. 
It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? Let's be fair. Pearl's been around a lot of terrible things. Not really directly, though. Morgan, I feel like... Here's the thing. Whenever you see something where it's like, Ooh, what a terrible person to be influencing someone. Like... Oh, yeah. Take, like, uh, Frodo. I think... Uh, not Frodo! Frollo! Okay. <laughs> Smarty, you can never pronounce his name correctly. I can't, and I, that is a running joke in real life, not just here. I always called him, like, Froyo for years. But anyway, Frollo. I gotta get that name right. Like, Quasimodo doesn't okay. know... The difference is Morgan actually cares about pearls. Okay, but she's also like, Oh, but it seems that such... I can murder my <laughs> And can it be that I <laughs> should gain? <laughs> <laughs> to think that I should gain. <laughs> no. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left that pearls could be. Where? She just has to be Oh! There. The detective... Not the detective. His, uh, office? Maybe? Who? His office? At me's? <laughs> no! Ours! Oh. oh the, the lawyer... Right company the right company law offices. Gumshoe, I'm counting on you to check it out for me, so please hurry the repairs up! Yeah, it's with Maya. Well, yeah. We already looked at everything, so I guess we're moving. Yeah. Come on, suspension bridge. Or, or the courtyard. Wait. It's February 9th, Hazakura Temple Courtyard. Two things. What? Looks different. No, it doesn't. Really? What did you... Okay, point out something that looks different. The entirety of the black behind the statue. That wasn't That's there That's always last there. Time. That, that is, was not there. That has always been there. Second, there's more blood. No, there's not. Okay. <laughs> this well. is a still image that was not changed. I'm not... Okay, I <laughs> swear that everything was green. Or not green. Everything was um gray behind the statue. But there's like black <laughs> silhouettes. It's very, very dark gray, Marty. <laughs> okay. This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so... Maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Oh, I will examine the blackness right now. The Shichishito. It's there in Mistigami's right hand. But it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. I can't believe you have a fever of 102 All right. in your own. And uh, the blood stain. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I thought there was more blood. I told you! <laughs> then there's the stick. Hey! Oh, I wasn't expecting anything. What was that jarring, inconsiderably loud yell? So this is where you've been. Keep it nice and warm, I see. Detective, ha have you finished repair the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, 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 then I'll come along with you and- Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get more involved than me. Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean- Yeah! It's been a while, Scruffy. You, your Miss v v v v v v v v Von Karma! Sister, please, leave the investigation to me. My, 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 well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. You just whipped that guy unconscious. <laughs> I'm on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ow! That hurts, you know. Silence! I, Francisca Von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? <laughs> She's our new partner. <laughs> She's the Maya of this case. <laughs> Until Francis we get Maya. Francisca, join your party. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Her special power is the whip. <laughs> Wait, how did... How... How did... <laughs> Gumshoe works How did Gumshoe build an entire bridge? <laughs> he works fast. That thing looks like it's getting ready to collapse. At least more than it did before. According to Bikini, Eagle Mountain is very prone to earthquakes. Which reminds me, if my memory serves me correctly, Edgeworth isn't exactly a fan of earthquakes. Yeah, we remember that. But how did he build an entire new bridge like- It's not a very well done one. It's like a piece of plywood. <laughs> sure, but we're back! February 9th. Maya, we're here to save Inner you. Temple Gate. Things have certainly become a lot livelier than before. They must have commenced with the investigation. Oh! Mr. Nick! Th that voice! 
pearls! Mr. Nick! <gasps> Mr. Nick! So you were here ever since that night? I was so lonely, I thought I was going to die! When I woke up in the morning and saw that Dusky Bridge was gone, I... I realized I was all alone. Wait, where's Maya? She was where's all Maya? alone? <laughs> it must have been very trying for you, little girl. Uh, you're... I'm Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need for you to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Mystic Maya last year! Well... I... I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip! Mystic Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you were so mean! I'll never forgive you! I... I... Looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Yow! Why are you whipping me? I didn't even say anything! You didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. <laughs> uh, anyway, Pearls? Weren't you with Maya? Uh... I'm sorry. It's... It's all my fault! Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I... I... Ah! <laughs> Mystic Maya! Hey, wait! Pearls! She just ran off! Don't run off! Ow! That was cruel, Phoenix, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearls acting like that. It's giving me the creeps. Please tell me Maya didn't also fall in the river. Because I feel like that could have happened. <laughs> Whoops! <trips>. Whoops! <laughs> yeah. I guess I better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. First of all, the furnace is open. That's true. That's different. There's a weird smell coming from the incinerator. The door is also open, almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what stunning clues concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty! How naive of you, Phoenix Wright. But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Francisca Von Karma. I seem to remember. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. Yeah, there was. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It's impertinent to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Somebody's burning some- Phoenix Wright! What? And would you stop calling me by my full name like that? Was this once a prosperous port? A port? The lines are... down. That's a problem. <laughs> yes, that metal hook is mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that. That's an anchor for one of the wires that used to hold up the bridge. I think that wire was tied to one prob- I think that the wire that was tied to this was one probably snapped when the bridge burned down. I mean, there's no way there was ever a port all the way up here. Don't get smart with me, Phoenix Wright! But I didn't say anything! <coughs> I feel like this Her is voice, me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the Buddha statues lined up along the path. Phoenix Wright, do you think this is how many siblings the head nun has? Why don't you ask her the next time you see her? You know what? I think I will. And she'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, you I wonder are if, getting your um, revenge. Wait, I wonder if there's one less and Maya took one and replaced it with the, <laughs> with the thing. <laughs> there's a little gate that leads into the garden. It says no entry on the sign, though. But it's open. It was open before, though, yeah. too, though. Come on now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. It's half open anyways. What harm could come of it? But it says no entry. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and then simply say whatever? That's got nothing to do with anything. And who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> it's very true, though. It's kind of true. Whatever. Here's a training hall. It's locked now. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Maya, I hope you're alive. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here training. Yet, it appears she's nowhere to be seen. What's that? That strange lock? It wasn't there two days yeah. ago. Yeah. 
This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. Hmm, this door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains, it's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. On a psych lock? They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. You just like come up to the door and you're like... What do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Ray? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... Hmm. What's that stuff? A woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. Yeah, somebody went- No, it's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy! <laughs> I was like, wait, did somebody go like full Beauty and the Beast and the Beast was like- <laughs> But no, Ma Maya- or Pearl must have come in here and smeared gravy on her mother- uh, her aunt's Aunt. scroll. <laughs> What's the matter? This scroll, it's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, uh, yes. There's a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy's a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute. I see. No! No one does that! For starters, it stinks! This must be the gravy that we had with the roast on the night of the incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Painting scroll updated. Touch to see before and after view. Under I wonder, the yeah, I'm curious as to what happened. What took you so long? Oh, come on! I thought even you'd manage to get here faster than this, Mr. Trite. Prosecutor Godot, I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Ha! <laughs> I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was. I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough! I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What more, or what could there be more important than a trial? Who's the wild mare trite? This is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Ha! Well, I guess I owe you one then. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Just who do you think you are? This case is my- Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand women like Whoa! you. Whoa! Get out of Whip here, Whip him! Gito. Whip him! You are the worst! <laughs> I'm only gonna say this once, Lady Von Whippingberg. Go home. Phoenix Wright! Well, what are you hitting me for? Ha. You deserve more cracks of the whip than that, Trite. What? what You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. What? There's something different about Godot today. Yeah. I'm getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or is it sorrow? I mean, he's on this case that... The girl who tried to kill somebody, he kind of helped a little bit accidentally. <laughs> yeah, they can't be happy about that. You had some important business and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. So you went to hell. Pretty cool. <laughs> he went to hell for 20 minutes <laughs> and came, came back, back. and survived. You see, Trite, I've experienced something most of not death. You died? Came back to of, life. Of course, being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live to a ripe old age. Yeah. Even someone like me. I just want to see you without your mask. So, you mean that mask you wear is... Is this like... Do is this like Darth Vader? This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. Oh, you're blind. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. 
Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. Wait a minute. So, this guy is blind. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. This guy apparently died, came back to life. So he's the dude that got poisoned, Armando. Yeah. Of course. What would mess up his eyesight? The would be like, poison, maybe? Would poison mess up your eyesight? I mean, depending on the type of poison, it could. Right. When people say, oh, my eyesight got really messed up, I think of one of two things. I either Battery think of, acid in the eyes. Sure, I either think of... No. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking of that. Um, I would either think of, like... You're blind from birth, or you go blind with age, um, or you get into like a terrible accident that causes either like an eye to yeah. be lost or whatever, which can hey, happen. Hey Godot, have you tried getting Jesus to spit in some uh, mud for you? <laughs> it works wonders. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm sorry, but you say you experienced death. How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Me? Yeah, Trey, you. You should know all about it. Well, we do, but... You know when my life ended, and who ended it for me. Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I mean... Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. Give the dude a break! I think I do know about how Godot was killed. Give the dude a break. He's got 102 fever. He's getting whipped, so he can't remember everything. He's like, uh, yeah. uh, I'm already, like, he's already not functioning properly. And then he's with a girl who's also not functioning properly. <laughs> time zones. They're oh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> it will all become clear in due time. Yeah, with our Isn't brains. that right, Trite? I mean, I'm glad you're alive. That's pretty cool. Too bad we can't do that with other people who have died in this. <laughs> yeah. Earlier, you said I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that exactly? You ate a necklace that had poison in it and didn't die. <laughs> the inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said, too. And I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M missing? As the leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. Maya Faye is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. Huh? Maybe she got kidnapped again. But, but that's impossible! She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. I mean, she wouldn't have... Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where is that? The Sacred Cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. Yeah, that's possible. This is the only place that the search party is yet to explore. Why don't you? So they haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Oh, so even if she was in there, she might be dead. <laughs> even if she is in there, the chances of her being found alive are slim at best. N no! Which means, trite, that you sent Maya Faye to her death. You didn't send her to the- Don't guilt trip us! We didn't do anything wrong! You fool. If that's the situation, why aren't you in there with a search party right now? You must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Trick lock? Well, Trite, once again, a woman dies because of you. Hey. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all. Well, yeah. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Oh, Faye. so Godot's kind of like, but Man, you killed off my Faye people! <laughs> what? The Mia? You killed her. Wait. Th no, that's not how it was! Yeah, we didn't kill her. She walked into her apartment and someone hit her on the head with the thinker. <laughs> that wasn't us. It was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone, a man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy! Personally! Sure, Miss Faye's murderer was caught. But that won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You and no one else. Um, it was your responsibility. You should have protected her. Godot, you don't even know. We weren't there! <laughs> Maya was- or not Maya. 
Mia was alone. Boom. Hit, <laughs> hit on the head. Maya comes rushing in. Whoa! Then we come in. No, he's, Whoa! He's, he's totally... Oh, he's <laughs> guilt tripping uh, us. Yeah. I... You say Mia Faye was your teacher? Well then, I'd say you've learned nothing trite. You Jeez. robbed her of her life, and now you've left her sister to suffer the same fate. Why are they doing this? Uh, I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No. What is this? This guy is a tool. What is his butt doing? <laughs> what is this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Oh. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would... Well, let's just say the inner temple in the sacred cavern would be a fiend of the past. <sighs> Very well. Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key. Ha! Sure. Just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. But there's no keyhole? That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris? Wait! Did Iris go in? She's like, enjoy having fun with your frozen waterfall! <laughs> and just sets the whole lock up and is like, Gonna go back to my room, fly over the bridge. You set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't set it on fire. She didn't fly over and be like, Zeus! Thunderbolts! <laughs> And then it just, like, sets on fire now. When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Oh my god. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Faye was to train in there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times, now that I think about it. Oh, it will be lovely! She said that it was Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? She'll just be like, I can't do it. Oh no! I hope she gets here soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. It'll just be like, no one will be in there. And then it's like, where's Maya? I don't know. Where's Waldo? <laughs> so, I should be getting back to work. Wait, Godot? How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You'd better start praying. You'd better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. Eh. Whatever. By yourself. Later, loser. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll have to do what I can for now. Where are you gonna go? We're gonna go home today and carry on next time. Ma, I wanted to do more. That's the problem with this case. You're always gonna be no. We can't stop. We gotta do more. You can't stop. Won't it's what, stop. It's a just great, go. It's a great problem to have. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. This is where the case gets even more interesting. Tune in next time. Maybe we'll go talk to Pearl and try to find her. Yeah, that might be good. Figure out what she did with all that pot roast and gravy. <laughs> well, she ate the pot roast and she dumped the gravy on the scroll for no, reasons. No, it. <laughs> it wasn't like she took the pot and was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Maya didn't leave a lot of gravy left over. No. Anyhow, look forward to next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Godot's a butt.